Hello, everybody. I don't know what day of the week. It's Monday. Do you like the mess that you're seeing in front of you? Um, I've got cupboards open and everything is going crazy in here. Um, it's so good to see you. And I'm, I know I am, I've been around less. It was a, it was a Mother's Day weekend. And it was um, not so much my Mother's Day, but my mom, uh, I haven't lived in the same city as her for just over 20 years. And now we are in the same city. Well, at least for right now we are. Well, I'm at the lake. And I got to spend Mother's Day with my mom and my sister and my brother. So my mom had her three kids together for Mother's Day. So it was a pretty exciting day. Hello, everybody. Yay! This is exciting. Good. I didn't know if anybody would be on. I figured it was pretty late, but I was had to design a card for tomorrow anyway. And so I thought, oh, we'll do it live. And then I can share the video. The 14-year-old is playing video games now. It was a long school day for everybody. Hello from Montreal. Hi, you guys. Oh, yay. You make me so happy. Hi. Okay, are you ready? Should we go play? Okay, just a second, I'm gonna tap over to the other screen. Ta -da. I think we're good. I can see your comments. Okay, hi Case, hi guys. Okay, there we go. So what we are going to start with, and this was actually a card. Let me show you the colors. So, and I've got my blends actually ready. So we have got Seaside Spray. We have got Rococo Rose. And like I said, if you're going to say it, you got to say it like that. Um, and then we have got Mint Macaron, okay? So these are the colors that were for this, the card that I had to have done for tomorrow. These are the colors that were part of the uh, challenge. Okay, so I jumped in and I grabbed, just a sec, we need the stamp set. I grabbed my birthday Jubilee stamp set and the coordinating dies, which are kind of a mess right now because I have got bits everywhere. Sorry, these are the bits we're using. We're not actually even using the big parts tonight. Um, and then I kind of, I saw it coming together in my head. I'm like, okay, well, let's try it. Let's play with it. Now, this one definitely required, whoop, hello, Liv, how are you? Uh, this one definitely required my Stamparatus, or my Stamposaurus, as I like to call it. Okay, so if I miss your comments, I'm sorry. I'm trying to pay attention and turn my head sideways at the same time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have got a piece of cardstock. Let me find it. There it is. And this one is just a four, I think I did a four by five and a half. Now, before I go um, sticking this stamp down, I am gonna do one thing. We're gonna clean this off. Do, do, do. Give it a good clean, make sure it's dry. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start this off actually on the paper because I'm gonna do kind of two separate. Hello, Carol. Hi, you guys. Oh, it's so good to see you all. Okay, so we're going to start this off up at the top of the page, and we're going to attempt... Uh, which side do I want that on? Okay, this side. I'm going to come out a little bit more this way. Okay. We're just going to see if we can get it straight there. Okay, so what my plan was when I started this, and I'm going to just pick up my stamp now, okay? Now, see, I got a little bit of a goob there, but that's okay, because we'll all just use the same color, because you can, then you won't have to worry about it. So... Ah, uh, hello to you guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with my mint. So we're gonna ink this up. Now, I'm hoping that everyone here has a Stamparatus. If you don't have a Stamparatus, people, you need one. Well, you'll see why. You'll see why momentarily. Okay, so we're gonna go like that, and then we are going to stamp this. Now, I have to keep track of colors. So I wanted in my head to go uh, green, blue, pink, for example, okay? So here's the deal. When I move this down, two slots it would uh, to the next spot this is too much of a jump so I'm gonna go green the next one would be blue and then my next one follow me would be pink I'm very confused they're getting rid of the stamparatus plates oh I I don't know Becky don't don't laugh I honestly I have not had a heck of a lot of time to pay attention to the retirement list I just know my stamposaurus is staying on there and that's all I care about um, I don't know if how many people would use all the extra plates. I do. I love my extra plates. I've got them for both of mine. Okay, so we're going to come in here. So, like I said, mine would have gone green, blue. I've done the pink, okay? So now the next one would be green. And so then when I move it down, I'm actually going to go to the blue. I hope you're following this. This is a bit, You'll understand it once you see it all kind of come together. Okay, so we're going to come down here. Hello, Terry. Now, this one might keep you on a while. Tell me what's going on. Give me the dirt. What's everyone up to? You can't buy extras anymore. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, so green, blue, pink. Green, blue, pink. 
green. Now we're gonna go back to green when we move it down two more, okay? Or not like it's this two happy birthdays down, but it's just one slot down. Okay, so we're back to green. So this part's actually kind of easy. You can just, I agree, what happens if you happen to break one? Have extras. Get them now, Deborah. I've got, like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I have, uh, how many stamp radices do I have? I think I have one, two, three, four. I have one here, and then I have three at home. And you're like, why do you need three at home? Because when I'm doing a class, I like to have one at each station if it's a card that requires it. And so I do have extra plates for every one of mine. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go down one. We're gonna go back to pink. You're working while social distancing, you know. I'm just kind of, I'm in that limbo mode of waiting to see um, what happens with school. Really don't know right now. They haven't called it here in BC. You have ordered plates. Good. See, Deborah's set. Deborah's like, just can't get them. Deborah's like, I'm on it. Okay, so next one. We are going to peel this off, okay? And I'm just going to, I'm drying it off my hand just because I don't want it to be wet. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it right back underneath and I'm going to fit it just in between. Now, I have to do one thing here, you guys. I do have to pull this down because if I can't see it to make sure it's lined up, it could end up all wonky and I don't want it that way. Okay, so I just pulled it down so I could reline it up, okay? Hello there, Beverly. Oh, first live, yay! You ink your stamps so gently. Uh, I know, but Becky, I find that if you ink stamps really heavily, you tend to get that halo around them. And I don't love getting that halo. So I, I basically, I'm just tapping it on it. And I get great coverage. And the best thing is if you're using your Stamparatus, it's all good. Look, I missed a spot on my Y. So come back down. And I still missed a spot on my Y. So I feel like I'm going to give it just a little doot doot right there. And now my Y is perfect, okay? So green, blue, pink, and then we're going to clean it up um, after the green. Actually, I could just do this right now instead of cleaning my stamp. This is what you can do when you don't want to be lazy. Hello, Jeanette. It's 4.30 a.m. Annette, what are you doing up? Actually, I say that, and then I'm like, oh, I've been up often. Okay, so we're going to do like that. We'll put a blue one in there. Okay. And now we'll clean it off. And we're going to come back up to here. And so this is going to be a green one. Do you see that if you have a stamp case sitting underneath that side, it actually is like perfect leverage so that you're not angled down when you're doing it? Love that. Green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink. We'll do one more green down at the bottom. Ta da! Do, do, do. Okay, I have three extra sets because I'm the one who drops their stuff. Yeah, see? Like, you just, I know. Err on the side of caution. Get yourself an extra set. Worst case scenario, you don't use them. Best case scenario, you got them when you need them. Okay, and now I need one more pink in there. Yes. Okay, jump in here. And we'll do our last pink. How hard would you laugh if I screwed up the color order right now? You'd be like, Ange! I don't think we are ready to go back to school. Look what happened with social distancing at the beaches. I heard, I heard it was a disaster. But like if you're using your blocks, how do you know you've inked it right? And all of a sudden I think it's a surprise. Uh, okay, so Becky, I know that um, in terms of coverage, I'll show you when I ink a stamp today. I'll show you how kind of I do it. Okay, so there we go. We've got this gorgeous little print going on there, okay? So now I think, I don't think I used these for anything else. No, I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna close this up. And we're gonna close this up. We're gonna do all of our stamping first. And then we'll grab the big shot and we will finish up that. Okay, so this, I should just clean it off. Okay, don't put it down. What am I gonna say to you? Put it away. Then this stamp set is not completely um, mounted, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do. Um, I do want to do this next one on my Big Shot, or sorry, on my, um, who's he, what's he? What's this thing called? On my Stamparatus as well. I need more white. How did I not grab more? Okay, so Becky, you'll totally understand this one and you'll love kind of this idea. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take this off. Now I'm going to take this one out of here. I'm going to remove this plate. And I'm going to use, this is another one of the stamps from the set. So this one says, celebrating you is the best. Okay, so we're going to go to that one. Now with this one, I'm going to hide Jeanette, tell you. I love you, Jeanette. We're going to ink this one up. 
in memento and then we're going to stamp it okay and then it's okay like it looks good there i mean this this ink pad it's it's i don't know it's got lots of ink but i sometimes find when i stamp with black that it's not like deep enough the first time i do it and so i love do nice tan i know look at that was from yesterday you guys that was just from being in the backyard yesterday it's always good when you get the Italian jeans. Ha, there's Darlene. Okay, um, so now, look at that. Do you see how much, like, more, I hate the word, but for lack of a better word, how much more crisp it is? Um, it just makes it, like, look really striking and kind of deep. Okay, so we've got that one. Now, while we're on there, this is not, I'm not going to do this with my um, Stamposaurus. I'm just going to ink this one up. So Becky, when I'm using my memento, I do twist a little bit to make sure I get good coverage, but that's kind of it. And this one, we're gonna come right down here. I'm just gonna use my Stamparatus as like a pad. Okay, we've got a really nice image there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut those bits. Uh, I do have two more that I need to do, so we'll do it right here while we're at it. Hello, Nancy. Yeah, we have had nice weather. We've been so lucky here. You were having your, sh oh, you're so sweet. I honestly, I spent, the whole, my sister drove up for the weekend um, to be with my mom and dad, with my mom for Mother's Day. My brother drove in on Sunday uh, from, he was about an hour and a half away. So it was a great, it was, it was, I think it was so nice for my mom. Lots of socially distanced walks, you name it. We kind of pulled it all off. Okay, now I am going, I did learn my lesson today. Um, when I did the original card, I colored this whole first thing and then I, I boobed on my um, die cutting, so we're not going to do that tonight. Okay, so we're going to come in here, and I do even have, you're going to be so proud of me, I have washi tape out. I have ink everywhere tonight. Sorry, you guys. My fingers, look at black all over my hands. Okay, so I have this old washi tape. I think it was out of a Memories and More. What were they called? We had another name. Project Life. Isn't that what we called them? Yes, yeah, so we had their old Project Life kits. Okay, so we're going to come in here, and... All I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to get him all lined up and I want to make sure it's lined up on all accounts. So kind of both edges. And then once I've got that, I'm just going to go like that and stick him down. Now I'll grab my other cutting plate. Doof, doof, cut it out. There we go. Okay. And then the next one that we're going to grab, we'll pop you out. Beautiful. Look at, see that? We're gonna grab, um, what do I do with those little sticks? We're gonna grab my larger stitched shape oval. Let's pull this off, we don't need it. Da, da, da. Toss that out. Look at you guys, are you proud of me? I finally get to see your parents at the end of the month. I know, Jeanette, like it is, it's absolutely, it is bonkers. Anyway, I'm not gonna, it has been really nice to be able to see my parents. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. So yes, I know it's not centered. I want it over to one side. You'll understand why. Okay, come through. We're gonna do that one. Crank it! Whoop, whoop. There we go. You can't see the left side of the big shot. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, perfect, because we're on the right now. Poor Jan. Jan's like, Ange, can't see it. Okay, I'm gonna pull this guy out. Make those noises because it will help you with the removal. The doop, doop. Put that one with those. Okay. Now I do need, I have one more die. There it is. Okay, now these ones are definitely going to need the washi tape. He's little, he moves. Okay, so Jan, I'll put him on this side. And then hopefully you can see. Oh yeah, you can there. I guess I could have just looked up and then I would know that you couldn't see it. But no, I did not do that. Okay, so this one, we're going to come in here. And we're just going to get him in the right location. Da, da. Stick him down. Hey, girl. Hi, Kim. Kim and I were yakking on the phone yesterday. Kim, this is it. This is the first time I have stopped since I talked to you yesterday. It has been a go, go, girl. Okay, sorry, like that. Pull that one out, see? Beautiful. Okay, and then we'll do one more. Peel the washi tape off. Ta-da! Okay, Jen, I know I'm going to slide it over a bit more. Is it 
I can hear you. Is that oval die new? No, not that's not a new one, sweetie. It is the stitched uh, or stitched shape oval dies. So they're just, you know, it's the stitch shapes. It's got the circles, the squares, and the ovals are all in it, Jojo. So you've got four ovals, four um, squares, four circles. And then they all match up with our layering dies, which I love. Actually, we're going to use them tonight. Okay, so I'll pop that one out too. Ta -da. Okay, we've got all those bits. Next bit we're going to use. This one's kind of crazy. Are you ready? So I need to make sure that you have no bits in you. Oh, you have washi tape stuck to you. Does that count? Okay, so this is another one of the dies from the set, this cute little kind of border die. So what I decided I wanted to do with this was I wanted to run it along this side here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it. We're just going to get it on as straight as we can. I'm really hoping I don't screw this up right now. And we're going to go like that. And I go like that. And then we're going to crank it through. And then I'm going to show you the trick. Remember to rest. I know with all of our spare time, right, sweetie? Okay, so we got the first one in. Okay, so you got this gorgeous kind of stitching going down the side now. Now, what I decided to do here is I decided to take the die and I wanted to continue the pattern on. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Was we're going to grab another little piece of washi tape. Have you ever seen me use so much washi tape? Ever? Never. I don't even think I've ever managed to get it out before. Do you think you'll be going back to school before July? I don't know. Like, honestly, I... I I don't know what's happening. I wish I knew what's happening. We get, I get no information. I see the news and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, that's kind of the extent of what I see too. Okay, so we've got this lined up just the same way. So I used the last pattern to put him into to kind of reline him up. I'm gonna come through, go like this. Crank him. My parents are about an hour away. Dad's on chemo. Oh. They run errands every day. Grr. I know, Roz, like it's hard. Yeah. My parents, they've been listening because they've got three children who have nagged. Okay, so there we go. We've got that. Do you see that? Isn't that pretty? Now, we're not going to use it on both sides. Okay. Can I get rid of this? I feel like I can. Just a second. I need to make a space to put this back over here. Okay, we're going to keep this. We are going to take the dies before I lose them. I already had to look for a die today because I dropped it and then I thought, oh, I'll get it later. Do you mean to make up for school now? No, there won't be any making up because I've been, like, I've been teaching every day. Like, literally, well, I think not the first day. The first day after we got back, I didn't have to do anything. Well, well we did, but it was planning stuff, so you weren't teaching, teaching. But since then, we have, so I don't, I, I don't think we can do the makeup. I'm not sure how this will work. Okay, next. We're going to grab my big cutter just because I'm doing kind of a larger zone. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to about here and I'm going to trim off that excess. I'm going to keep it kind of tight. And then on this side, we're going to go to three and seven eighths, just like that. Okay. So I want three and seven eighths and then I'm going to go to three and seven eighths. That's going to be five and an eighth. So we're going to take off you like that and then we're going to take off did I kind of pause I couldn't talk you like that okay so it's looking pretty even right about now they need to do that in BC too can you imagine all those two okay I'm happy you're at the lake <laughs> you're close to... yeah I don't know who knows like I don't think anyone knows what's going to happen you guys it's so bizarre now this is going to go on to here now the other one I did I did it with um the seaside spray so you'll be able to see both kind of color combos Hoping to go back in August. We'll see now, and we don't have school in August, so our kids, our summer holidays are July and August. So this is where it's all going to get a little bit interesting. Okay, so our next step, we are going to grab those gorgeous markers. We're going to start off um, using the mint, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to color half of every leaf with the dark. Whoop. If you make weird noises, it totally helps your coloring, okay? So like the joop, joop, I'm totally kidding. Actually, I don't know if I am kidding. I feel like I do make a lot of weird noises when I color. But I feel like it is very helpful. So this one, I decided I wasn't so much going to worry about blending because so many of these designs in here were a bit more like two-toned. 
So I was going to go. Hi, my girl. Hi, Ava. So uh, someone just asked what sets the dies from. It's from the Jubilee Beauty dies. So these are the same ones that go with the birthday Jubilee. Now, you guys, this one is on the retirement list. So it's going. If you love it, like I do, order it now because you won't be able to. And the dies are just killer for this one. Okay. Good night, my sweet Ava. I'm glad my kids are out of school, but I know your grandchildren. I know. Well, my kids, well, my school kids aren't happy. Like, it's not right. We miss each other. It feels so wrong on so many levels. But I know, well, it's just, it's what we have to do right now. There's not. Okay, so now I'm coming in with my light on the second side. There we go. Do, do. And then I think on this one, I think I'm going to make my two flowers two different colors. On my original, I did both my little flowers were the same color, but we're going to change it up on this one. Mm -mm. I think I have to have this card posted by 9 o'clock tonight. I think I better get off my vines and get moving here. Oh, I missed that entire leaf. He's all getting that light. Okay, there we go. Come over here. Doot, doot. Color this one in. You know who it's getting harder and harder with is my teenagers. They don't understand. They just want to go see people now. Like, they're really kind of feeling... It's, it's starting to hurt. It's hard. Okay, so we've got those. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to take... Uh, I'm going to take my dark oh. Rococo Rose. Whoops. Okay. And I'm going to come in here. And we're going to go like that. Boop. And we're just going to color them in with my dark, okay? I really want these ones to kind of pop. They're going to pop. Quick, everybody do jazz hands. Jazz hands. They're going to pop. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, so we got those in. Perfect. My three-year-old nephew doesn't understand why he can't see me. I know. It's got, like, that's it. How do you explain this to little kids? Like, I can, honestly, I can't even imagine. Okay, so what we're going to do on this one is I'm going to hit the centers up with the dark. Now, I do have to be careful. I'm trying. I can't look away right now at the screen. And have any of you ever got this where you stare at something so long and you actually start to go cross-eyed? Well, that's what happens to me when I start to color little tiny images. It's actually pretty funny. So I get very scared of looking away because, and I can see that it's, I just noticed over the corner of my eye that it moved up. So someone commented, I'm coming. Foop, 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 foop. Okay, so we got those ones done. And then what we're going to do, hello, Kathy. My Kendra, what does it say? Oh, it's conflicted. She misses everything. I know. Yeah, see? And Mar Marnie. I, blah, that made me cry, Marnie. It's exactly it. You can't risk anything. And yet it's her grade 12 year. I honest, my nephew's grade 12 as well, Marn. And I, ugh, I'm just kind of nauseous for them. It is the most bizarre. Okay, so we're coming in here. I know, and it's different in different areas. Like, I know, you know, my girlfriend in the States, her kids would have been out kind of by the middle of May. So theirs kind of wasn't as long, but we don't get out until the end of June. So for us, it, it is, it's a long haul. Okay, so we're coming in here, and all we're doing is we're just going down these little guys here. I'm going with my dark on my blues. And I'm just... Coloring them in. There. There. I think I'll just color the centers on those ones too. Okay. And then we're going to take the lighter pink, which is right here. Next time you come into town, let me know. I know we can stand and we can blow each other kisses. What do you think, Jeanette? Is anything open in town? I did pick up, you'll be proud of me, Jeanette, um, for Sean's birthday because he does, he's not a dessert person at all. It's so sad. How do you make a birthday cake for someone who's not a big dessert person? Um, anyway, what we did was we had ordered a raspberry rhubarb pie from the Shoe Schwab Pie Company. And so you just have to, you do like curbside pickup, which is awesome. Nana, when can I hug you? I know. They're called Stampin' Up. Oh, did somebody ask about the blends? Thank you. Guys, uh, Norma did. Okay, so Norma, these are your Stampin' Blends. I don't know where Norma's comment is. Ooh, what kind of pens are you using? Yes, they are called Stampin' Blends. Thank you, Kim. Kim's on it. Was that when I had said that I could see it going up, but I couldn't see what the comment was? Okay, so now 
Norma, I want you to go back and I want you, not on today's video, but I want you to go check out some of my other videos where I've been coloring because I am not using the blends for kind of their potential right now. Um, I'm just using them to color with just because I love how I've got the dark and the light of every shade. But our blends are, they're an alcohol-based marker, so they do exactly that. You can blend colors and it's amazing. Okay, so you can see that there and I love kind of that one. Then I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come in and I can watch this. This is actually probably the fastest way. Just color this whole thing in with the light. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with this one. We're gonna color the whole thing with the light. I don't have to be careful. Cut the end. Oh, you're waiting for your son to finish work. Oh, Denise. Oh yeah, see that's the other thing. I like I think that would be stressful too as a parent right now when you've got um, teens with jobs because you, you're wanting to make sure that they're protected. Thank God my 15 year old does not, well he doesn't have a job. He, um, school's tough for him. I shouldn't say that. He does very well in school, but he puts in ridiculous hours to do it. And so job is not an option right now. I'm not going to lie when I tell you, I'm a little bit relieved. Okay, there we go. So see what I did was I actually just went in and I colored the whole thing light first because it required no work, right? You didn't have to stay in the lines. And then I'm just going back and I'm hitting those dark zones. Okay, there we go. We'll have to watch replay. Thank you. Hi, Todd. How are you? Don't usually do anything much on my birthday. It was crazy sad on my birthday in April. I know. It is. Like, I think it was just such a mwah, mwah. Now, my loves, one thing we are going to do is remember I said to you, we've got this one here. I'm not going to pull in the die cutting machine because I don't feel like you need to see it. But I'm going to grab my largest layering, uh, the scallop oval. So when you buy the layering ovals, you get the scallops and the regular that you can use for matting. So we're going to pop out a coordinating one like this. Okay, so I have a card base here. A do. Oh, look at that. She's answering Marty. I love it. Do the, they know. So they come in individual ones, Marn. Marn, I'll send you a link and you can check them all out. Kim is like mine. She's on tonight, man. Kim's on answering questions, people. So each kind of color set comes, um, you can buy a dark and a light. Well, until the end of this month. And then they just come as a combo. So you buy the dark and light together. Oh, I did not mean to pop this off. This card is going to be very poppy uppy now, people. Okay, so we're going to take this poppy uppy as a term. Look it up in the dictionary. Poppy uppy. Okay, we're going to go like that. Is it straight? It's pretty straight. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. I hate it when I do that. Does anyone else ever do that when you stick it down? And it's like, my eyes are never quite... I'm take one more off. And pivot it. We only have three. Oops. Okay. No, don't bend it. Don't do what I'm doing. Oh, dog freed out. Anyone else crazy? Look at that. How loud was that? Okay. So we have got that to there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick dimensionals on the back of this. And I'm sticking them all kind of closer to the one edge. You'll see why momentarily. Let me take those backings off. I did. Okay. I'm going to pop this one on here. Do, do, love that. Okay, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to do a blue heading out that way. And then we're going to do all pink heading out this way. Dude, just like that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that really pretty kind of die cut piece that we've already done. Now this one, because I've got the pattern and I really don't want it to like sag at all, just going to make sure we've got enough okay and then, oh I just shot that my what's it called okay hang on now I'm losing everything they come in light dark area um Kendra doesn't have a job because she's yes 26 power a week I know well she's like bad demon she's amazing dimensionals make everything better oh you guys sorry totally missed your comments for a minute there okay here we go just repealing off backings I was like oh why isn't anything happening but it's because I'd scrolled up to read a comment and if you don't scroll back down you can't keep up with them Okay, so now we're going to go like this. Get your bits off. Notice I just shot the whole card halfway across the room. Okay, 
put that one on. Love it. Friend who's the same day. I know. I'm sorry, Roz. Okay, snail here because I've already stuck on 97 layers of dimensionals. And we're gonna go like this. And then I gotta photograph this card. Jeez Louise, I gotta get it up in time, people. Okay, so we got that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're oh so pretty. And then I'll show you the other color one. Tardy but here. Hello, Cindy. Okay, so we're we're excessively dimensionalizing. It's my thing. It's what I do. Doot. 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 Oh, and toss this one right on the front. Now I did try it at first not stamping the ink in black. And it I'd stamped it in a color, but it didn't have the same pow. So I had to change. Okay, there we go. So we've got that. Now it's not quite finished. I'll show you because you know, no card is finished. <gasps> oh no. There we go. I think I'm, was I frozen? I feel like it froze. Just a second, I'm making sure. Okay, I'm plugging it in because it told me it went into low power mode and I'm thinking that's why it went, did that. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do. Um, you love the card, thank you, but it looked like it was frozen on my end, so I'm hoping that you guys catch up with me. Sorry about that. Okay, and it was just because my phone went into low power mode, and so it stopped. You are frozen. Don't you worry, it's back. I know, good. Look, at I caught it quickly. It was just because I had not noticed that the phone had hit low power mode. Dude, dude, dude. Dudes, there you go. So you can see there's the two color options. So this one is done in Seaside Spray and this one is done in Rococo Rose. Yes, my darlings. So I don't know about you. I froze, I know it was all me. It was totally my fault. It was not an internet issue. We are all good here still. It was absolutely just the fact that the phone hit low power mode and so it paused. So you guys, I'm gonna grab my catalog. Give me one sec, I gotta find it. There it is. And I want to show you what you want to do. Oh, you could, it froze, but you could still hear me. Perfect, good, okay. And it was only because the phone was in low power mode. It was just my fault. The card's adorable, thank you darlings. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where this gorgeous set is. I just have to find it. I think I could look that up first. No, 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 I cannot. Look at this, like, look at some of these cards done with these dies. They're so gorgeous. So it tells us it's on page 35. So let me just show you it. So this is this gorgeous stamp set and the coordinating dies, okay? So it's called Birthday Jubilee. You guys, the stamp set's really reasonable. It's a $23 stamp set. Your bundle's $57.50, okay? So that is item number 153814. Okay, I'll pull those out. And then the other part I wanna just do, just a second. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. I need to learn my alphabet, 184. There we go. Come here. So you guys, if you check it out here, here's all your Stamparatus stuff. So this is all your Stamparatus kind of information. And when you buy your Stamparatus, it does come with everything you need. You get two cutting, you get two of the plates, okay? Not cutting plates. You get two magnets. Now, something you will notice that was on mine, because I often will stamp and I'll get things on it, we've got a stack of our grid paper and it's like a mini grid paper and it is meant for your Stamparatus. Your Stamparatus also comes with this. Do not throw this out. So when you're using a photopolymer stamp, they're a little bit thinner. So you just put that down underneath and you put your paper on and then you use it just like normal, okay? Now the other thing that they brought out that I do love is this. So inst if you are not into the paper thing, you don't like having it, you don't like, you know, reusing, or you don't like wasting, you know, the paper, you can get this one here, and this is called the Stamparatus Deluxe Foam Mat. So it's already got the foam, and it's like this. So meaning, if I were to go and get ink on it, I can actually just grab my chamois, and I can wipe it right off. Yes, darlings? So, Stamparatus is right there. It is $67. Anyone who buys their Stamparatus from me, you get the option from me and you can choose whether you would like to have a small grid paper or the deluxe foam mat for free. I will give you either one your choice, okay? So, uh, tonight, so this is on until tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. So if you head to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com, there's your host code you're gonna use, which is B394ESKN. And anyone purchasing the Stamparatus, once you've got it in your order, just let me know and I will send you out your choice of either the small grid paper or the deluxe foam mat, okay? So you can see there, there is your, whoops. The small grid paper is a stack, 
like this, okay? So you've got them, and they're double-sided, so you can just flip them over and reuse them. And they've got both metric, sorry, you've got uh, imperial and you've got metric on them, yes? Okay, just a second, I'm coming back to me. Oh, I'm exhausted. That was a good, whoa, I got really bad lighting in here. It's dark. Anyway, my dears, thank you so much for joining me. That was so fun. Okay, so what was your color preference? We finished it, and I need to know, which one did you like best? Ooh, gotta wait for the lighting to change. Did you like your seaside spray, or do you like your Rococo Rose? Which one? What's your favorite? I think I'm a seaside spray girl, personally, but it all depends. You have to tell me which one you like. Anyway, have a great night, and I will see you all later. Bye.